This is the story I'm going to read to you today. It was just written a few months ago. It's called, All Because You Matter. I hope you like the story. Go. So, All Because You Matter. They say that matter is all things that make up the universe. Energy, stars, space. If that's the case, then you, dear child, matter. Long before you took your place in this world, you were dreamed of like a knapsack or a backpack full of wishes carried on the backs of your ancestors as they created empires pyramids, legacies, building, inventing, working beneath red hot suns and cold blue moons, thinking of you years ahead because to them you always mattered. On the night you were born, stars sprayed across the sky, each one full of light, hope, love and all the moments in your life that would matter. Like your first steps, bare feet planted on cold floor, hobbling, wobbling, toppling, only to stand and try again. Or your first words spoken almost like a lullaby, notes climbing a ladder to the sky. Mama, Papa, Mahel Kita or the first time you opened a book like a mirror staring back at you and really saw yourself. Same hair, same skin, same dreams. The words and pictures coming together like sweet jam on toast, musica blasting through barrios, sun in blue sky, all because you matter. But in galaxies far away, it may seem that light does not always reach lonely planets, covered moons, stars unseen, as if matter no longer exists. And just like moons hidden in the dark, there will be times when you, too, will question your place in the universe. Like the time you'll hear the teacher call your name, host Hosam Uzamaka Yordanus, and the whispers and giggles begin, followed by, what kind of name is that? Or the time you'll see a letter, big, bold, red on the page, and you will question if you and your work and your effort matter or the time when your pop-up turns on the news and you see people everywhere take a breath, take a stand, take a knee. And you hear pop-up's whispered prayers as another name is called Trayvon, Tamir, Philando, and you wonder if they or you will ever matter. But did you know that you do? Did you know that you were born from queens and chiefs and legends? Did you know that you are the earth? That strength, power, and beauty lie within you. Did you know that you are sun rays, calm like ocean waves, tough like Montanus, magic like stars in space? And on the day the universe was created, you were thought of, dreamed of, carried like a knapsack full of wishes as planets, stars, moons took their places, making room for people, making room for you, your people, their dreams, your future. All because since the beginning of time, you mattered, they mattered, we matter and always will. The end. That was quite a story to think about, to hear about. I know there were a few words in the 
story that you might not have recognized or understood, like knapsack. So I put in the word backpack. Um, you know, I'm going to say something to you that will sound a little strange. God doesn't make junk. You matter. Everyone matters because God created you like God created the universe and God created all the stars and even the things that we can't see. You matter because, as I said, God made you. I thought it would be a nice idea for you to draw a picture of the night sky with stars, but a shooting star representing the day you were born and your importance in the world. Have you ever had a situation in school where somebody had a different name and some of the kids made fun of the name to God, every name is beautiful, and every person is beautiful. And sometimes people do bad things, but do you know God still loves them and wants them to think about what they did and to make themselves better, to turn around and be kind and not say hurtful things. That's what I learned from this story. And remember, God made everyone equal. Just like the stars that you see in the sky, they look equal, but they're all different inside. Just like you. You're, thank heavens everybody's different. God just didn't make everyone the same. We're different, but no one is better than anybody else. And no one is not important because everyone matters. See you next time. Bye-bye.